Supernatural Season 15, Episode 5, Proverbs 17.3. So this is without a doubt my favorite episode of the season so far. We got, I think, what, three visions this episode? Um, or I guess technically we had two new visions and then uh, one redo for a vision as far as the recap goes. We get the official explanation at the end. I was right. My theory was totally correct, which is probably a super obvious one. Uh, considering, you know, the not so subtle hints that they gave I was like, okay, well, you know, he touched it, hurt Sam. It's like, it, <clears throat> it just all connects. It's like, sure. Why, why wouldn't it be that mental connection? So I was super happy when I was watching the episode. I was doing my reaction. I was so mad. I was like, man, I wish I had my computer so I could like upload my reviews. <clears throat> Excuse me upload my reviews on time so my my theories are out there before the episode show up so hopefully you guys are still entertained or with my excitement because i was like yeah I'm, i was super happy that i was right but man i was not expecting that episode to be as good as it was i knew it was going to be good based on how the how fast the episode seemed to be moving because i was like okay starts off with the recap as soon as they showed the dream or possible future or anything like that i was like okay i know i'm going to love this episode because it was once they show it in the recap, that means it's going to be relevant to the episode. And I've been super excited. As soon as they show that, that was all I cared about. So I was happy to see that. And then, you know, they get into the case. Um, aside from them using the oldest freaking pictures in the universe, which I thought was funny. Um, they go through the case and it's like, all right. One woman escapes. They go through. She's in the hospital. They end up finding the brothers. The one brother's freaking out and stuff because he's the one who's the pacifist. He doesn't want to kill people. He didn't want to kill those girls. His brother was like, you know, whatever, whatever. He killed him, and, you know, so he let the other woman escape. So they get there. It's super easy for whatever reason. You know, and it, it seemed weird. They even reference it, and then Lilith mentions it, like, at the end of the episode. But it was like, man, that was super weird. It was like he told them their name and stuff. It was like, how would she even know? Like, even in the flashback, he didn't say his name. So it was like, how did she know his name? It was like, that's weird. So I thought it was just going to be a trap. I thought it was specifically like, okay, we're just going to get more hunters in. And, you know, we let one person live. That way, when they find out, you know, who we are, they'll come to the house and then they'll be like, all right, we'll take them down. That wasn't the case, though, because, of course, when they get there, it wasn't really a trap. It was like just a normal situation where they're kind of freaking out and stuff. Sam pulls out the silver pen, uh, which I thought was funny because it's like every time they go up against werewolves and it's like, we just need to double check. It's always some little thing. It's like, hand me, you know, this or hand me that thing. And it's like, you know, you write your numbers down and you have the silver pen. It's like, oh, we don't have a phone. It's like, mm hmm. Gotcha. So I thought that was really funny because like they always have that little, you know, that quick little thing there. But they find them. It's like it's, you know, super obvious. And so I was like, all right, things are moving really fast. You know, the girl is like, hey, can you guys help me and you know, pick me up from the hospital? Uh, she ends up staying in their room and she's like, you know, can you stay with me at least until I fall asleep? I was like, no problem. So Dean stays there. Uh, Sam is in the other room. He ends up waking up later because, of course, the brother snuck into the room, kidnapped her and took off which I thought was really interesting because either, you know, and maybe that's not what happened. Because I, I, initially when I watched the episode, I was like, oh, that's crazy that they didn't end up killing them. But I think she just walked outside because it was like, okay, they're out there. She just walked outside and then allowed herself to be captured because that was kind of the point of the story. But when I was watching, I was like, that's weird that they just wouldn't kill Dean, but it could have just been like, let's not create more of a hassle for ourselves. Let's just kidnap her and then we go. Um, but I think it was just the fact that, you know, like, no, really think about it. She probably just left on her own. And it was like, they're probably out there. And she just left and went to be captured. So, of course, Sam and Dean get there. And we're only, like, halfway through the episode. And that's how I knew that it was going to be good. Because I was like, all right, they're going to, like, do this case. And then it's going to wrap up. And then, like, the second half of the episode is going to be, like, main story arc stuff. And so they're going through. The brother that doesn't care about killing gets killed by his younger brother. Which I thought was interesting because when they had the, the sequence in the beginning of the episode, the first one was the demon blood for Sam where he kills Dean. The second one in this episode was really cool because it was Sam in the white suit. Like they showed him from behind. I was like, I'm pretty sure that was Sam in the white suit, which of course would be him possessed by Lucifer. And so he ends up, uh, you know, he ends up killing Dean again. And so the one brother who was the younger brother who didn't really want to, he was normally the one who was more of a pacifist, which definitely fit sam i was like i felt like the point of that was to reference that dream sequence where he like he was in the all white the whole time or you know, at least at the top the top was white and stuff like that and he was the younger brother killing his older brother because that's all we had seen up until that point it was specifically sam killed dean 
So I thought that was pretty interesting. It was like the younger brother killed the older brother. And of course he was wearing white and it didn't like, I didn't catch on until the end. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like he's not the evil one, but still it's the younger brother. And it's, especially because he was wearing white and Sam was in the uh, white outfit. I was like, I feel like that was visual. You know, that was like the symbolism to connect back to that dream sequence. And I could have been looking too far into it, but I still think that that's kind of what that was meant to be. And it also kind of makes sense because with Sam seeing these visions or the thoughts and possible endings that Chuck is coming up with, it makes sense that he would, him of obviously writing that story out, like a little bit being like, you know, wouldn't it be great if your whole life was planned out and stuff like that? It makes sense that he would kind of write it in that way. Like, I'm sure he had some influence in some way, shape or form that that specific werewolf chose to wear that white top. So I thought it was interesting. That was really cool. And I was like, okay, this is not how episodes normally go. I was like, they're kind of two for two because they had the uh, the the teenage vampire where he's like, look, I'm gonna kill myself and you know let my family live. And I was like, they're hitting these emotional beats that are pretty good with you know family and people being the monsters who don't want to be monsters. And technically, that was still true. Like even though Chuck's story was to manipulate those two and use love to mess with Sam and Dean, it was still those werewolves growing up as the care the you know the people that they were. The older brother didn't care about killing. The younger brother still did care. And so, you know, they still technically did it, even if Chuck was manipulating this story uh, in this episode, it was still up to that one to like kill his brother and then kill himself. Cause he knew if I put Sam and Dean in this situation and I forced these werewolf brothers, this is how it's gonna end up playing out. Like Chuck knew that that would happen. He didn't like just poof, he made them up that whole time. He knew what their story was and he was like, I know them well enough that I can manipulate this situation to be one brother kills the other and then kills himself. And so I was like, man, that was, pretty, that was still entertaining, even though it was part of Chuck's plan. And then it was like, all right, well, that's crazy. You know, they just wrapped it up halfway through the episode. And then Dean reaches for, you know, the girl, I think her name was, you know, her, the actual girl who's already dead and gone. Her name was Ashley. And so he reaches. And so she's like, yo, don't touch me. And she slips and falls and she dies. And I was like, that's a super twist. I was like, that never happens. That, I don't think there's one time where that's happened in the actual series. Like, you know, they have it where sometimes they don't save the person, but it's never been like, they're right there. And then it was just a freak accident. Like they slip and fall and then poof, they're dead. And so then she's like, well, that sucks. And I was like, what the F is going on? And I th at first, I honestly thought it was Chuck. I thought it was Chuck the whole time and he was there messing with them. And then he was going to change. And then it turns out it was Lilith. And that just like blew everything out of the water. Cause I never would have thought that she would come back into the series. And then we find out, of course, it was Chuck. Chuck was like, yeah, um, I'm just gonna pull you out of the darkness and kind of toss you in, get the gun from them. That's all I want. You can't kill me. Obviously, I'm God here. Uh, although she probably could. I mean, I guess not. He's still, you know, he's still snapping people away and pulling people from the darkness. So she probably couldn't take him on at all. But that was interesting. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. And then it was like, all right, well, if he brought her back, uh, it kind of connects back to the multiple endings because what we've seen, and I didn't realize it at first, but once they showed the other visions and then, of course, uh, Sam was knocked out after they tried to take on Lilith, which I knew that wasn't going to work. I was like, they're like, oh, I'm going to whip out the demon blade and Dean's going to pull out the angel blade. I'm like, that's not going to mean anything. Lilith isn't just like some demon where they're going to have a tussle. I'm like, the point of her character was like, you need to be on a totally different level, which is why Sam went full demon blood you need to be somewhere else in order to take this woman down. So I thought that was cool. I was like, all right, you know, he, he gets knocked out. And I knew I was like, we're probably going to get another vision with him being unconscious. And it totally tied into my theory, which was when he's unconscious, he gets the basically the conscious thoughts of Chuck as he's going through these stories, because, of course, it connects to him and his brother. So we get to see this new one, and this is the first time we actually see Dean killing Sam because we've gone through the demon blood, we've gone through Lucifer, Sam, and now we get to see uh, Demon Dean. And then the next one, I would assume, if he does end up having another vision, would be uh, Angel Dean. So I thought that was really cool. I was like, all right, that's pretty awesome. And so then that kind of changed the theory just a little bit. Uh, it wasn't just, you know, because for a long time, admittedly, Sam was the one where it was just like, oh, okay, demon blood, yeah, that's bad. He gets possessed. That's super bad. Oh, soulless, kind of a dick. Not not nearly as bad, but still pretty bad. And so it was it was always Sam <laughs> being taken over by something or becoming a worse version of himself who doesn't care as much. So it was like I thought it was just going to be Sam killing Dean, and then it was like nope, it, it moved on to you know Dean being evil. And I was like okay, that's pretty cool. So like I said, the next one, if he gets another vision, will be Angel Dean. Um, and I thought that was cool, and I was like all right, with Lilith coming back, that ties into 
that first potential arc or potential ending that Chuck had where it was like, yeah, this is the ending, but it could still change. It was like, you know, I don't really know how I'm going to get there. So the ending could technically change, but it's going to be, you know, either Sam kills Dean or Dean kills Sam. And so they reference it at the end of the episode after they realize like, man, God's actually back. They lose the gun, of course. Um, and then, you know, they're just let go. But Dean references it at the end. It was like, you know, he brought Lilith back. Like, what's he going to do? Throw us, throw our greatest hits at us. And I was like, you know, it makes perfect sense that he would because that would explain why he has those multiple endings. That's why Sam's having all these visions of their craziest moments because as a writer, for Chuck being the character that he is, whether he's super on the nose with the whole, you know, things being laid out for you and having that thrown right at Dean, he is the type of person that would write a story, which admittedly, it's a cool story in general, to have characters lose to something that they survived in the past. Like, it was like, you know, we already know how to deal with this, so you think it'll be like an easy succession rate all over again, like, it'll be even faster than last time, but he manipulates things a little bit more, or he, you know, he actually gets involved this time, and he watches them die, or he really plays this handy, and he forces them to kill one another. So he brought Lilith back, which would lead to the demon blood thing, which seems unlikely that that would kind of come back into play. But he brought her back from the darkness. And then after that, of course, you have Sam being taken over by Lucifer. So I don't know if him bringing Lilith back as a part of, you know, that first vision is like, all right, yeah, I mean, we'll see what I decide to do with her. But I'll also go ahead, I'll pluck Lucifer out, and then I'll see if that ends up playing out as well. And then, you know, he could do whatever he wants and kind of recreate everything with uh, Demon Dean, bring back... Uh, Michael, yeah, Michael, or Gabriel, I forgot, yeah, it was Michael, it was definitely Michael, not Gabriel, uh, you know, bring back Michael and just be like, here you go, super possession power, there's something wild, and then he possesses Dean again, so, I don't know, it, it'll be interesting to see, but it was like, that was, you know, him bringing her back, and of course, her not dying by the end, which she references and proves at the end, because they use the, uh, the uh, demon trap bullets, which they haven't used in a super long time, so I was super happy to see that, because that's, honestly like one of my favorite things that and like the anti-possession doing the uh or anti-exorcism where they do the exorcism spell in reverse and it traps demons or at least keeps them in the body uh those are probably like two of my favorite things that they've done where it's just like crafty solutions those are probably my top two and the demon trap bullet was just like that is such a simple and genius idea just boom i shoot you it won't take you down but now you're stuck in that body and for weaker demons they are trapped like in that spot they can't even move but of course in her case she just like shakes everything around them and then the bullet eventually like comes out of her head and it's like all right i'm out of here and you know then she freezes sam and dean but chuck brings her back first he might bring back lucifer i don't know but this was without a doubt my favorite episode so far um cast does come back in the next episode so i'm excited for that i don't know i've said it a million times i want to see what's going on with jack i want to see what's going on with billy so hopefully with them showing cast, that means we get to see what's going on there. They'll Even though they may not actually interact with each other, it might be like, all right, here's Cass, here's what he's doing. I feel like they're going to end up working the same case and that they'll run into each other. So Cass will end up reconciling with Dean. Or if that's not the case, Sam will at least learn the truth because we didn't get an actual scene in this episode where Dean flat out lies uh, to Sam or anything like that about you know why Cass left. So he may not have straight up lie to him just yet and so we don't really know but it would be nice to see Cass come back and just to see how that ends up playing out but i'm looking forward to that like i said favorite episode so far it was just like holy crap they showed the visions he's having visions it's like all right it's going this way it's going that way lilith is brought back which is nuts my theory was right that made me super happy at the end because i was like it just that has to be it it just makes perfect sense and that's totally the case but i'm excited i'm excited to see what we get because if we get more visions and especially considering what we've gotten they've specifically gone through the biggest moments where the characters were possessed or changed so you only have one more and like i said it's angel dean and the reason i say one more is because they skipped over like sam when he didn't have a soul because he didn't actually like actively kill people he was just nonchalant and a dick so they'd probably skip over any other little stuff like they skipped over the stuff where you know sam was um i can't even remember the angel that possessed him that one time but, you know, he wasn't, like, killing people when that happened, except for, you know, when he killed Kevin, which is super effed up. But um, other than that, you know, they kind of skipped over. It was like, here are just, like, the giant moments where they switched, you know. Evil Sam, Evil Sam, Evil Dean. And then, you know, let's get to the end. It would be Evil Dean again from most recently with him being possessed. So I don't know what to really expect. Um, that would be the last vision. But if there's one after that, it should be brand new. Because it wouldn't be any of the big moments that the series has already hit. It would be something totally different that Chuck's come up with. 
And that could be the path that they end up officially going down because it'll just be something else. And that might be how we end up seeing um, Cass and Jack possibly put into some of these visions because so far it still has come down to just uh, Sam and Dean. And only the first vision even included other people, which I thought was interesting because like, you know, Benny, they, that was probably, I hope that wasn't the only one because I was kind of hoping like that was the actual future because I was like, oh, how are they going to lead to that? And I was really hoping that that would lead to a whole storyline where Benny does officially come back. But now I'm like, dang, that might have just been their one moment to be like, all right, we're able to get them in for a quick shot because they're going to bring it, you know, get everyone they can in uh, for the final season of the series. And I hope that wasn't the one moment we have with Benny for this season. But I'm, I'm starting to where I was like, dang, now that the visions are like showing, it's just the big moments they've already gone through. I was like, crap, that could just be what ends up happening. But the fact that he was there in general does mean that they could still do that. I mean, they already did the little thing. They could do the Benny thing because, of course, that would be a great way. If you bring in Benny, that even though Sam and Dean are super close, because when Benny first came in, that was they were already kind of apart at that time. Um, but even bringing them back could separate them just a little bit more. And then, of course, you have the stuff with Cass taking off, and then Sam realizes, like, Dean is the reason he did that. You know, it's a great way to kind of split, and then you just drop Benny back in there, and it'll keep them split a little bit further. So we could come back, and that would be a great way for Chuck to kind of make that divide even greater for him to get to the ending that he wants with them, you know, one of them killing each other. So it's solely possible, but I hope we do see Benny again, because that'll be sweet. But love the episode, of course. We'd love to know what you guys thought about it, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it. And, of course, Lilith's return. Did you ever see that one coming? Because... Of all the characters, Lilith, I mean, her literal point, which was a great twist, was that she was meant to die. She was the last seal. She was meant to die and sacrifice herself so that Lucifer could be released. And she did that. And now it's like, well, I'm alive. I'm not just going to let you guys kill me. I'm not really a pushover like you thought. Like, you weren't all, you know, high and mighty. It was like, no, nah, I had to die. So it was just kind of like, oh, no, kill me. So now that she's back and she, you know, she can't kill them, but obviously they can't kill her either. I'm curious how that's going to end up playing out too. Like, what is Chuck going to do with her character? Will he just wipe her out? Will he push the idea that they do have to use the demon blood again? Will it skip over that? Will it, you know, because we have to wait to see what visions will or won't really, you know, kind of be written out. So lots of questions up in the air, but of course, Lilith has returned. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, what do you think about the visions now that they've kind of gone through officially explaining what they are and making the actual connection, even though technically that's still a Sam theory as well as, you know, my own theory, but I assume that that's, that's definitely the case, but I'd love to know your thoughts on that and the episode as a whole, so please put your comments down in the comment section below, and of course, thanks for watching.